Alright, so I'm going to film a video on how to glue rubbers like a pro. So, I'm using pre-check pro because I'm a pro. Um, you have to shake this before you use it, otherwise it comes out really like chunky. So, yeah. I'm gluing my friend's paddle. Stick a all-round classic. It's a classic. And two Rockstar 7s. So, alright, let's get started. <clears throat> so first, um, I've got to, I like to put the glue on the rubber, and then you want to spread it out with the sponge and a clip, as so. As you can see, it's very, uh, it's very even, and I went vertically for all of these. So, yep. And you want to wait until it turns from white to transparent. It's more easy to tell with like orange sponge color. But with a white sponge color, you can wait around 15 to 20 minutes, and then it'll be dry. Now I'll do the same thing for the black rubber. So you can see I've spread the glue evenly on both rubbers. So um, when you spread the glue on the first rubber, you want to put more glue uh, because the sponge, this sponge, doesn't have any glue in it yet. So uh, it's, it's going to absorb more into this sponge. <clears throat> so you should spread the glue, like an extra copious amount of glue on the first rubber that you do. And on the second one, there's some residual glue here, so you can use less. Um, on the second rubber that you glue. So now, last, you do the glue on the blade because this actually dries really quickly, so you should do this last. Some people put multiple layers. I'm just gonna put one layer on each of these and one layer on each side of this. But if you want like more feeling, more uh, springiness in your rubber, you can do like two or three layers. You know, it's pretty, pretty clean. You see, this side is also pretty clean. This side is already drying. Um, so. If you're doing this at the beginning, I wouldn't suggest um, like gluing both sides at the same time like this because you might mess up and it's just kind of scary because you don't want to waste money. So you should do one side at a time. But I've been doing this like hundreds and hundreds of times. So I can do both at the same time. I'll show you the trick that I use so that it doesn't uh, stick like to a surface when you're gluing the first side. You can use a blow dryer to dry the, the glue on the paddle and the rubbers, but I'll just I'll just use the old faithful method. As you can see, the rubber is transparent now. It's like no more white, and that's when you know it's dry and you can plaster it onto your paddle. Here comes the fun part. So I have a pro tip. Um, you need to get pretty sharp scissors. Some people use a box knife, but you can, 
use uh, sharp scissors. These are my special, I don't know what brand they are, but they're really sharp and really, really clean cut. And then you're gonna wanna wet the scissors uh, because it makes it easier to cut the rubber and then it's gonna be more even rather than kind of like jagged. So it helps make it smooth. So you can use a roller or you can use your arm but a roller makes it more even. And don't apply a lot of pressure when you do this, otherwise the rubber will expand and then it's gonna shrink like in a couple of days and it's gonna to be too small for your paddle. So just roll it with slight pressure, not very much. And you can see that I'm putting very little. Oh, and the trick is um, you can place this on a flat surface and then the blade has like more depth to it. So not the, this part of the blade face is not touching this surface at all. Just don't put it like this, like this. So it's kind of like raised. <laughs> then you can use this roller and roll it on as you go with very light pressure. Once again, don't don't press too hard. A lot of people like press like this and then it causes your rubber to expand way too much. Some pros like to cut like a little space around the edge for more feeling, but I like to flush my cut directly along the blade edge. So I'll show you how I do it. that it's glued well. So if you pull along the edges, it shouldn't it shouldn't come off at all, which is good. That means it's stuck on and it's not gonna cause your paddle to flap. Okay, so you can see it's pretty pretty good around the edges. And then you can put edge tape. Some people like it, some people don't. But it does help keep your paddle um, from peeling at the edges because if you hit the edge of your paddle, um, it's protected by the edge tape and it'll stay in place. Um, and it helps against dinks on the table. But uh, some people like it is better feeling if you don't have the edge tape. I don't know if that's true, but some people like Timo Bowl claim so, so I trust him. Beautifully glued rubber and paddle. Thank you for watching Panda Pong. Thank you. Yeah.